In this video, I'm going to be going over all the materials I use to create my artwork and my video setup for filming uh, my drawing videos. So right now, I'm going to kind of show you my camera setup, which I, I had a, a different setup. I was just using kind of a point and click camera before. Uh, and I've switched to this camcorder, which I bought at Walmart for $200, which today is Black Friday, and this camera just went on sale for like $139, so if you're in the market for a new camera, I would definitely check this thing out. And so here is the setup. Basically, I have the camera uh, bracketed to this accordion um, setup here that I got off of Amazon, and allows me to move it in and out, side to side, and this was a mirror that I saw on Amazon, and I'm sure you can use any kind of uh, mirror setup they have on there, but just attaches to the wall, and it moves back and forth over my drawing. Um, the old camera didn't have this flip screen that kind of pops out, so the reason this is so much better, one, is I can see what I'm drawing now, so when I'm drawing, uh, I can see you know what the camera's filming so I can kind of zoom in and out uh, which makes my videos I feel like a lot better I can really show detail and stuff uh, the other cool thing is this camera has a much better uh, audio recorder than the point-and-shoot cameras so overall a much better setup so the type of camera this is is a Sony Handycam uh, 9.2 megapixels and it has worked great so far for me so that's my camera setup I have a couple lights and then the overhead light here and I could probably upgrade that stuff but other than that I'm really happy with my camera setup. So let's get into my daily art routine and the supplies I use for that. Uh, so I use Strathmore mostly just because it's what I'm used to using and I have all different types of paper. Uh, this is uh, mixed media paper, it's much thicker and I just use this for a project pen and ink which I liked a lot. So that's good paper. The paper I use on a daily basis is Strathmore Toned Tan, and that's just, it's like a brown paper. It, I love that it's got the little fibers that you can kind of see in it. Um, so this is what I use to do my daily sketches most days, and then I just have all different kinds of Strathmore paper pads. Here's another one that I'll do if I want white paper. Um, and I think this is, uh, just 400 series white Strathmore drawing paper. Uh, I also buy these huge pads of paper. So this is when I'm doing a bigger finished piece. I like to draw them on bigger sheets of paper. And this is the same as that sketchbook, just 24, or uh, this is 18 by 24, I think. Yeah, yeah, 18 by 24 inch tone Strathmore, um, which I love this paper. I love the tooth that it has. Um, it's not too uh, slick and it's not too rough, so you can get a nice um, gradation with your pencils and stuff like that. So, when I sit down to draw, I have this little pouch and I have my sketchbook. And I'll just, depending on what I'm working on that day, I have a Prismacolor sharpener. So, and I love this sharpener. It's big enough to hold all the shavings if I'm just sitting and I don't want to, I'm not somewhere like, if I'm at a restaurant and I need to sharpen, this thing works really good and it gets my pencils nice and sharp. And of course I use Prismacolor colored pencils. I love the way they blend. You guys have probably seen videos I've done in the past um, where I use these, but I love Prismacolor colored pencils. I just did a project where I used Faber and Castell uh, marker pen. And I like the line thickness, line variety I get with this when I'm doing pen and ink. So this is another pen tool I use a lot when I'm doing pen and ink. And I also use Prismacolor pens as well for doing pen and ink. Uh, this is more comic book style I do a lot, but I actually really like that favorite Cassell uh, marker pen to do pen and ink a lot right now. So um, now for erasing, I like to use these little eraser sticks. So, and that's so I can get really fine, like erasing on some of my stuff. Uh, the pencil I use, and I get this question all the time, is this is a Graph Gear 500, and it's a mechanical pencil, 0 
I also have a 0 0.7 and stuff, but I generally just use this one. It's quick. The reason I use this versus drawing pencils is because I can just kind of pull this out where I'm at and um, it's just simpler. If I were to do really finished drawings that I really want to spend a lot of time on, I would probably use drawing pencils and I have a few sets. I have a Prismacolor drawing pencil set that I use occasionally. Not super often though. I really like to get detailed and I just like to keep things simple so a lot of times I just use the mechanical pencil. But both would work really well. Um, so that's it pretty much for my art bag. And this little bag, I really like. It's really simple but I got this off of um, Jerry's Artorama. Uh, website that's normally when I'm shopping online and it was only like two dollars and fifty cents but I just kind of put everything I need uh, or everything I might want to do for that day's daily sketch or I don't really plan ahead but I always have this with me in my truck so if I feel like drawing I just pop this out and I always have a sketchbook with me and I just start drawing so uh, now the other thing I forgot to mention I mentioned the Prisma color color pencils but this is the white colored pencil I use for all my uh, highlights on my daily sketches so when you see so like for this sketch you know I just use my mechanical pencil and then the white colored pencil for all the highlights in there and I find that I just I can bust out a drawing anytime I want and I like the way it looks so it's really fun um, so other things I use I use Copic markers uh, this is actually a pack I haven't even opened yet, but this is my second pack because I was doing a lot of skin tones for a while, um, and you can get, like this mixed media paper would work really good, but I also have some marker paper that works really well with these. But the deal is, is I want to show you guys this. So uh, Copic markers are super expensive, but whenever I need new ones, a lot of times I'll go to um, uh, Hobby Lobby or Michaels. And like Hobby Lobby has this app, you just open their app and then they have like a weekly coupon and like this is 40% off um, any regular priced item. So I use this on these and get 40% off, so 40 bucks for just this little pack but you can get 40% off that. So that's a super good deal. Um, I've had these for a while but this coupon that's 40% off on Hobby Lobby comes up all the time. In fact I just used it to buy some uh, Faber and Castell pens and some sketchbooks and stuff. So that's definitely a good app to get. Another app I use all the time is this Art Pose app. Art Pose FE and Art Pose. And the reason this is awesome, I love this app, is you can move the body around and do any kind of angle you want. So it really helps with drawing the figure and stuff. This has been, this is just an awesome app. I mean, traditionally, You'd have one of these, which I do, but I never use this thing. I mean, why would you when you have this? So, you, I mean, you can even change the lighting and everything. So, as far as daily use and things I use to draw figures and stuff, this app is awesome. <clears throat> so... <laughs> you're done. God. It looks like we have a little sneaker in here. Are you watching about daddy film? I'm filming my video. Um, <laughs> so anyway, another thing I forgot to mention about my camera setup, this is super cool, is I have this cord that goes right into my plugs into the camera. So when I'm done filming or as I'm filming, it uploads right to my laptop. So if you want to come over here. Um, so I don't have to unplug anything, I don't have to worry about memory cards, I just delete them as they come in. Uh, and so my system is really, it's just really, uh, what would you say, streamlined now. Efficient. Which, yeah, it's efficient, streamlined, makes everything um, much easier to do. So another tool that I use, I haven't used this in a while, I use it for all my like video editing and doing thumbnails and stuff, but this is my uh, Wacom Cintiq and I do a lot of coloring on here. Uh, I'd love to do more digital art, but I just, a lot of times I'm doing daily sketches because I just, I'm at work, I don't have this with me or whatever, but uh, I use it a lot and I love this thing, it's super cool. If you've never seen one, um, you basically have basically a little pen and you can just 
draw. Oh, there we go. So, Elena, my daughter, loves to draw on this thing. Don't you, little monkey? She's down there hiding underneath my desk. So, um, but as far as my, the things I use to draw, really that pouch is, I would suggest everybody have one of these and have it conveniently with them at all times as long as well as having your sketchbook. Um, Cause I feel like this, as far as my art supplies go, this is the number one thing. This in my sketchbook keeps me drawing. It keeps me um, like, uh, th the fact that I have it in hand at all times just allows me to draw whenever I feel the need. Uh, it keeps me on routine, which I'll talk about routine and um, things like that as far as getting better at drawing uh, in a future video. Um, in fact, I think I'm gonna do a top five or top 10 uh, tips to get better at drawing. But this pouch, this thing right here, and my sketchbook are the two things that I have to have as an artist at all times. And really, the pencils and everything like that are interchangeable, but just making sure I have it with me at all times is super important. So this is basically the kind of stuff I use on a daily basis. Uh, there are times where I'll bust out watercolors and things like that, and I don't really have a preference in watercolors or brushes I use, uh, just because I don't use them enough to really, like once you use something enough, you get really like, precise with exactly what you want it to do and I just don't do watercolor oil painting enough to have preferences there so but as far as daily use all this stuff the eraser stuff like that I hope you guys have a good idea of what I use on a daily basis so anyway uh, that's the video um, thanks for watching and I'll catch you later